Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome all of you to the Mega Mastermind Thanksgiving Special. Today is a day where we sit back and we are thankful of all the good things in our lives. We count our blessings, we thank our friends for everything they've done for us. So, keeping this in mind, you may be wondering, what am I doing for Thanksgiving? Well, as you may remember, last month I made a video called Game Night 999 My Story. And I basically explained and told of my experiences with the Game Night 999 network. It's a really good video, you should definitely watch it if you haven't. Now, shortly after the video, I messaged Mark on Mark Sheverton himself on Twitter asking that, you know, since it's been a year, that maybe, just maybe, I could be unbanned, at least for a little while. Now, he had seen part of my video and told me I did a really good job on it. So, keeping this in mind, I thought, well, maybe he would agree to unban me. You know, just just for a, a short period of time, you know, I wanted to go on the Game Night 999 network again, you know, after making that. But, sadly, Mark denied my request and, uh, replied with this. Sorry, but if I unban you, then everyone else who has been banned will want the same things. Every time a player has been unbanned, it always ended badly. Can't do it. Now, don't get me wrong, I do agree with this. I mean, I've had to deal with something like this with Megacraft before. If you unban one person, then everyone else who has been permanently banned will also want to be unbanned, and it would be unfair to them, you know, having a bias. That being said, I am still bummed out that, you know, I couldn't be unbanned from Game Night. I, I didn't even ask, ask to be permanently unbanned, just unbanned for a short time. Sadly, uh, this did not happen. I was not unbanned. And as I said, I am a little, as much as I do agree with this, I am still a little ticked off. So, I thought, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up, and it's a time to be thankful for, uh, for everything. And I, for one, am thankful for the Game Night 999 network, because, you know, if it wasn't for them, if Mark hadn't written those books, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, I thought I'd do a little celebration to show how, just how thankful I am, uh, for the Game Night 999 books and the server and everything that's come of it that led up to where I am now. And, um, judging by the title of this video, you might already see where this is going. I have here my only remaining copy of a Game Night 999 book. I used to own Invasion of the Overworld, but it got lost somewhere back in middle school in 8th grade somewhere. Battle for the Nether, the second Game Night 999 book Mark Sheraton ever wrote, is my only remaining copy of any Game Night 999 book. Um, I've owned it for two years. Um, I haven't really touched it in two years. I read through it twice. Just I want, I want to let you all know that before I... Uh, do what I'm about to do. I read it twice, front to back, every single page. All, every single page of this book has been read by my eyes two years ago. I have no need of it right now. So, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Refuse to unban me, huh? Refuse to unban me, huh? Game night, buddy. You're, you're a great guy. You're a great guy, dude. And same to you, Mark Sheraton, for writing the books. But Game game Night, you're a great man, but Mark Sheraton refused to unban me, so, you know, I, I, just, I just can't let you live. To be blatantly obvious, yes, I'm burning the book. Now, you may be wondering, why am I burning the book and not, you know, donating it? Well, I mean, Mark Sheraton refused to unban me. That and, um views.
But don't worry, guys, I'm not a heartless person. I have a crap ton of other books that I don't use or need anymore, and I will be donating them all to charity, at least a good majority of them. Some of them I keep for sentimental reasons, but a good majority of them I will be donating to charity, uh, just not this one. So before we grill this thing up, uh, obviously we gotta take safety precautions here. Um, the cover is plastic and laminated, so I will not burn that. What I'm actually gonna do is uh, rip every single page out of the book, so I'm only burning the paper, because paper burns easily. The cover will be spared. Uh, I'll probably just like recycle it or something, or maybe I'll keep it, I don't know. But you're lucky, book cover, you get spared. Well, boys, we're outside in a uh, cold November day. This is Thanksgiving day that I'm recording this, so it's gonna be uploaded in the same day, which is uh, probably a first for me. I have uh, successfully torn the cover off. Really wasn't that hard. Um, and uh, well, there's only one thing left to do. This is my old fashioned grill. Uh, it runs on coal or charcoal, whichever you prefer. And uh, now one last thing I, uh, I need to say before I burn this. I mean, no offense to anyone, not Mark, not Game Night, nothing. This, the only one being hurt by this is me. This is my own loss. I paid like, what, 10 bucks for this back a few years ago? So the only one being hurt by this is me, no one else. And uh, just to be safe, I'm actually going to burn it in sections. Not gonna burn the whole thing at once. I'm gonna split it apart and burn it one by one. It is freezing out here, so let's hurry this up before I get frostbite. Oh, come on. All right, so we have a little flim going. Uh, it's freezing out, so the lighter doesn't want to seem to work that well. Uh, might have to add some fuel to it. Right, so after many attempts, I have finally figured out how to do it. Open the book and then burn it from the inside out. So. Uh, yep. It is... I, I need to warm my hands up. It is freezing out here probably one of the coldest thanksgivings ever so yeah rip rip game night nine and nine let me zoom in here so you can get a good view of it again i mean no harm to anyone none this is only um for views and uh <laughs> i don't know i just thought it would be funny but yeah uh, the reason, the other reason I'm burning it is to, uh, finally move on from my game night phase. Actually, I have, um, I'm burning it because, I don't know why, because Mark Shepton refused to unban me, that's why. That, that's the reason I said, um, I don't know, I, I just had the idea to do it. I, I've been wanting to do something slightly crazy for my standards, and, um, yeah, this is it. By the way, if it took this much effort to burn just one small part of it, what am I going to do for the rest of it? This this is not a small book. This is a fairly large one. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to put music over the fire. <laughs>
There we go. Now we got a fire going. Uh, then uh, fueling it with sticks from our dead plant here. And now, looks like at least the top half of this book is burning up. Obviously, I, even from the beginning, I never expected it. Whoa, okay. I never expected the entire thing to burn. There's obviously going to be some remains, and I'm just going to throw those out. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, by the way, this is what I'll do to your house if I see Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving or before December 1st. No Christmas decorations before December 1st, all right? Or else this is what'll happen to you. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, well, that's going over there. I'm gonna add uh, some more parts of the book to the fire. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go out again like it does last time. You two are insane. Well, there's only uh, one of us, but yeah, I'd say I'm insane for doing this. That's as pretty much as far down as it's gonna go. Um, rest in peace, battle for the nether. You will uh, truly be missed. And the last little bit is uh, going up in smoke. Speaking of smoke, the smoke's getting in my eyes. Uh, so what happens when you burn something here. I've been out here for like half an hour. You do not know how long this took to burn. It was so cold, like the thing wasn't light and I had to like use sticks and just keep moving it around. So, yeah. Leave a like on this video because I went through a lot of trouble for this. Well, not too much, just smoke in my eyes and trying to get it to light in the first place. The fire has mostly died down, so it's time to put it out of its misery for good. We're going to close the lid and close the vent so no oxygen gets in there, so the fire dies. So, what did this have to do with Thanksgiving? Absolutely nothing. But, today is November 22nd, 2018. On November 22nd, 2015... I created Megacraft. Yes, today is the three year anniversary of my Minecraft server. So what does burning a game night book have to do with Megacraft? Well, besides the fact that it's essentially where I came from, absolutely nothing. So, as you sit down today and stuff your face with turkey, mashed potatoes, pumpkin pie, 
and all that other good stuff, I want you to think back to Megacraft and some of your favorite memories of the server. That being said, I wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, let me give you some, let me give you a bit of advice. Don't stuff yourself too much tonight or else you'll be too full to go Black Friday shopping tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving.